Welcome to another episode of Liberty Creek. And today I have a treat for you. We're in Jen's Country Kitchen and she's going to show us how to make Easter bread. All right, folks, we're about to begin making the Easter bread with Jennifer's guidance. Okay, I'm going to put the ingredients down in the description of the video and I will try to list them as we go along. So here we go. You need two and a half cups of flour divided, one quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one package of dry yeast. You can see it um, puffing up over here. You need two thirds cups of milk with two tablespoons of butter. It's already inside there. And you're gonna need two eggs, okay? And you're gonna need a big bowl. We're gonna be using the mixer bowl over here. All right, at this point, you're gonna come over here, put the butter in, pour the milk in. You just want the, milk, the butter to melt, folks, okay? Warm it up just a little bit. So at this time, folks, you're gonna go ahead, you got your milk and butter here all melted up. You're gonna go ahead and combine in a large bowl. It's gonna be our mixer bowl here. The flour. The sugar. The salt. And let's turn that KitchenAid on. Hopefully you have a mixer. That is the yeast. Go ahead and pour that in. Now this is gonna make uh, about four small loaves. Go ahead now, go ahead and add the butter and milk in. And let that uh, mix up. And stir it really well. Let's go ahead and uh, put the KitchenAid up to about four. Now we're going to start adding in the rest of the flour, folks. Here we go. First the eggs. Almost forgot. I'm new at this. And now the flour. That's what I meant by divided. You put some flour in at the beginning and some flour at the end. And let that mix up well. You're going to have to put the hook blade on. Now folks, you're going to stir this for about 10 minutes. Put it up to about a speed of four. Now folks, if it still looks wet, you may have to add a little bit more flour to it when, you, when it's mixing. <laughs> you want it to come together like a ball. All right, it's been mixing for a little bit now. It still needs more flour. We're gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more flour, scrape the sides of the bowl, and turn it on for a little bit longer. All right, folks, when it gets to look like this, you're gonna go ahead and stop it, take it out, throw some flour down on your uh, countertop, and we'll finish kneading it right over here on this surface. Okay, 
So now what you're going to do is you're going to form it into a ball and put it into a, um, a lightly greased bowl and let it rise or let it sit for 10 minutes. I'm sorry. All right, folks, at this step, we're going to go ahead and lightly oil a large bowl, place the dough in the bowl and turn to coat with oil. Cover it with a damp cloth and let rise in warm place until double the volume, about one hour. All right, one hour has passed and the dough did rise. During that hour, what you can do is you could go ahead and make yourself some Easter eggs, okay? You got an hour, go ahead, boil up some water, drop them in, make some hard boiled eggs, color them, and because you're gonna need one for the center of your Easter bread. Let's take a look at the ones we made. All right, as you can see, the dough has risen. And what you do now is you pull it on out of there and you're gonna divide it into four little loaves, okay? So Jennifer, once again, she threw some flour down on her working surface and she's gonna knead the dough a little bit and then she's gonna divide it. And then what? I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes again. Once again, 10 minutes. After dividing it, you're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. All right, the, the timer just went off. Jennifer divided the little uh, dough balls again and she started to braid them out. at that <laughs> all right egg wash throw them in Throw a couple sprinkles on there. Three fifty for thirty minutes till golden brown. Let's do it. Till golden brown. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Let's check on it. Ooh, look at those babies. They look delicious. Oh, yeah. Alexa, off. Now they cool down and we're going to sample one tonight. It looks delicious. We're back folks and it is Easter morning. Happy Easter to everyone. Easter, we usually have a tradition and we make Easter omelets. These omelets are really thick omelets. And we have our Easter bread with the omelet. I already had a loaf of Easter bread yesterday when it came hot out of the oven. Let it rest for about 10 minutes, put some butter on it. It was, it's, it was so good. Oh, Easter bread, love it. So I'm uh, gonna show you how we throw together a nice thick omelet real quick. 
and then I'm gonna sit down and eat my Easter breakfast. All right, normally we have them all cubed up on a normal Easter breakfast and we have a lot more people here and we make the omelets. Uh, we usually, do we have the sausage all cut up and we got the, that's the ricotta cheese and the mozzarella cheese. You What she tries to do is get all the wet stuff out. get all the wet stuff out of the center. Let the egg roll back. Now last night we cooked the sausage in the air fryer. It was already pre-cooked. Now we're flipping. You flip the omelet. Or I'll never cook all or the way. Or I'll never cook all the way. <laughs> Put it back on. All right, there you have it. I have my Easter omelet, my Easter bread. Got my coffee to get me going. I hope you and your family also had a great Easter. And until next time, be safe.